Hello. Now it's time for me to show you my new website. I've been uh, wanting to show this off for a while now. It's uh, a couple weeks old. It's actually a photo biz website. I had uh, WordPress since uh, 2011 or 2012. And the last uh, WordPress website I had uh, for the past three years, absolutely beautiful. Uh, some similar design elements as this. But it, it was just a development nightmare and I just got tired of it. So I wanted something where if there's a problem, I can put in a support ticket and it's dealt with. And um, something that's easy for me to manage. And I still have SEO control and um, I love the way it displays my photos. So I'm just going to give you a tour of how I have it set up and kind of why I do things a certain way. It, there is no perfect website. Um, not everybody's going to like every website. But there's several things about a website that need to be true in order to have it successful. That it needs to be concise and to the point and uh, quickly represent your brand and how you do things like the style of your work or whatever it might be, how it displays your work, and also that everything is easy to find for the visitor and there's a good call to action. Once you have that and of course good uh, text co uh, content, SEO, then you're in business. Uh, I mean, everything else is easily changeable and it's something that you update every so often anyway. So right here, I get right to it documentary photography and some people might think oh what's that well okay you notice here the first images they see there's nothing posed um i base my photo selection off of that to where i know that the average um sometimes the average bride or average couple would want to see uh the bride and groom portraits or uh, groom and groom uh, bride and bride and then family or all that you know what i don't care about the average client um I want to attract those that are looking for what I do, and that's why I put that out there. And of course, I do a few portraits, but that's, I don't put it on the website because that's not what I'm known for. It's not what I do best. I do it well, but yeah, that's, you just got to put out there what you want to shoot. And uh, here's a little snippet of what documentary photography is. I try to keep it sort of brief, but still have text content because that's how you do your SEO and then matching your keywords. It's important. And of course, a little bit more um, image rich previews of uh, the different galleries. So I'm going to go, since this is a wedding course, I'm going to go to the wedding portfolio. I love the way this uh, pinboard layout it displays my work, and it's nice and big on this 27 inch monitor. On mobile, it just stacks, but you can make your uh, selections different for a mobile site if you want. On my particular website, it stops uh, if, if somebody's scrolling. Um, once it reaches 10 photos in the portfolio section, it, it says load more because everything is about load speed. That's extremely important. This loads extremely fast. I love it faster than my WordPress site ever did, even with images a third of the size. It's, it's crazy. So I'm, I'm definitely happy I went through the extra work and started over with some blog content. Um, but at least now what I have is new and unique, and I trimmed a lot of fat, so it's great. Yeah, that's more than enough, maybe too much, um, but it just goes right to uh, contact. And um, that's basically how my portfolio page is set up. One thing I want to do, uh, go over on this homepage, I kind of X'd out a little, a little fast. I got to this and had a shiny object. Um, hey, look, squirrel, red truck. Hey, it happens. But anyway, yeah, a little bit more of a descriptor of how I do things. Worded a little differently. It might be a little redundant as far as that goes. But you really have to drive the point home. It's just like uh, the Bucky's gas stations. You see several billboards before you get there, and it really puts that idea in your mind that, like, oh, yeah, I'm going to stop. A little bit more about. So basically, you're getting the overall theme, a call to action here, and then some testimonials. So basically, everything that somebody would want to see is on this home page, and they don't really have to do any navigation. Uh, I think more people would rather do a reasonable amount of scrolling than they would uh, multiple page navigations, especially if they're looking on mobile devices, which personally I think that's the most annoying way to uh, surf websites, but that's me. Um, but the average person doesn't see it that way. So 
anyway, you, you, know, you definitely have to accommodate. But yeah, it even has a contact form here on the home page. And of course in the footer, um, a little bit of contact information. And as I said, when I, um, I'm giving the pricing demonstration next for how I have my uh, pricing set up. It's important to have your uh, email address somewhere on the website in case your contact form ever breaks. I don't see that happening with this platform, but it's just there if people need it. But yeah, the homepage has pretty much everything that somebody would possibly need. Of course, if they're interested in more, which I hope they are, they can always navigate, but at least they don't have to go to five different pages to find out what they could find out on that page. And it's all about user experience, uh, keeping the website relevant and modern, and that you're providing relevant content for SEO. And SEO is basically made up of several different things, um, like your text content and also matching keywords. And just a lot of things that don't cost you anything, even maintaining your Google My Business page and monitoring um, your Google search index and all that. But anyway, okay, the about page, that's a very important thing right here. I try not to go too far off the deep end about me, uh, just a very compelling paragraph that would make them want to hire me. And then I get right to how it benefits them because that's ultimately what people are looking for. They don't really want to read four paragraphs about me, about how I um, like pizza and all that stuff. You know, it, it's, yeah, that's, some people kind of go crazy with that about, they talk about their families and all that, and that's cool. Um, I just think I'd rather use this space to get their attention uh, based on what they need. I'm here to provide them a service not uh, talk incessantly about um, me. But anyway, they get the idea. They've read enough. They know how I work and a little bit about the different services. And once again, call to action, fill form, contact. Blog page. I have different uh, blog articles that are uh, already live. There's still more to go, but I'll show you a sample of it. So I got right to the point about what I'm uh, showing them about these, wed these wedding photo slideshows. I get right to the slideshow. A call to action, follow me on YouTube. Why these are a hit, these photo slideshows. A call to action and even an opportunity to uh, leave a comment. I think that's definitely good uh, for blogging to get uh, some engagement from your readers. Okay, you've seen portfolio. My contact page is pretty plain. By the time they've gotten to this, by the time they've gotten to this page, they've already seen what they need to see. I don't really need to browbeat them with more work or um, other things to, uh, I wanna make this nice and easy for them to contact me. That's ultimately what I want them to do. Very seldom does somebody go right to that page without looking at some of it because they just don't wanna get flooded with emails if it's not the right fit for them. So generally, by the time they've gotten here, they already have an idea of um, how I work and my work and all that stuff. So anyway, now I'm going to get into this info and pricing. I chose not to do FAQ because I think you can possibly say too much and uh, talk yourself out of a sale. Just like if you go on a, a date with somebody... If you know everything about them before the first date begins, it's not that interesting and there's not much reason to go out with them. So here, it's kind of the same thing. Um, I think I've got more than enough uh, text content on the website to show people how I work and it, it gets, it's not really repetitive because it's worded differently and I try to make it lead up to the next thing. So it's not just the same thing with different words. But I, I get right to it here with... Uh, a good point of value these slideshows and they get to see it and then see that it's included in my wedding photography as well as albums it, it describes it I have my starting point on here and I think that's a fair way to do it because the uh, the bride that's looking for 
video and photography and a second shooter for 800 bucks. Well, now they don't have to waste their time and mine contacting me if they see that's where I start. And somebody that's budget conscious or shopping around, that's probably the first page they go to before they even bother looking at your work. Uh, not to burst your bubble, but that's just the reality of it. Um, like in my opinion, it it doesn't really make any sense to even care about the price if you're not impressed with a person's work to start with. But that's just, I think sometimes they just want to save themselves some time. And if they like the price, then they'll look at your work maybe. But um, I just would rather use this as a pre-qualifying tool. And your website really needs to not only provide a good user experience but and the proper information. Um, you want it to be a good sales tool and do some of the work for you. Like with what I've shown you, I think you might agree that it attracts the right customers with what I've got on here. And it'll put people off that want something different. And that's the whole idea of it. And that way it's more likely by the time I get an email in my inbox from them that they already know how the system works to some degree and that they know they're familiar with my work and they're interested in getting more information and it's a more engaging conversation rather than like a uh, empty how much email, like if I didn't have any of this. So I think it's, um, yeah, there's different ways to go about it with pricing on there. You can put, the, put it all out there. You can put an average investment or a starting price. I figured the starting price is the best idea for me because there's a bit of a difference between them and who am I to say if the average investment is um, and that the person looking is the average client they might have different needs so I just kind of want to do this to weed out those that don't have the budget to hire me and it gives them something to start with and if they're interested they'll contact me so if obviously if somebody's got a budget of two thousand dollars and they like my work, they'll probably contact me anyway, and maybe we can work something out if they don't need that much time or if it's off-season or whatever it is, and, and they don't need as much. Obviously, I wouldn't dumb down any of my collections during peak season, but I'm always happy to work with people. Um, I mean, it, it, if they can come up with $2,000, they can come up with that, But unless they just need something different. But at least I'm, I'm going to avoid the $800 people. So once we talk and there's some engagement, at that point, I'll direct them to a hidden page that has all my collections in detail that you're going to see next. That's the next uh, screen recording that you're going to see. <clears throat> and the lists, my prices for different services, the starting point. I just think that's the more fair way to do it. Because I don't want to waste their time either. Or have anybody be embarrassed or disappointed that they didn't have the budget for me. But that that's how I set up my website. It's very deliberate as far as the content I put on there. I put on there what I want to shoot. I get right to the point, what it's about. This kind of lures them in documentary photography. Oh, interesting. Okay. They read this and they have a better idea of how it works and the services I provide. They can look at my... Uh, portfolio if they don't want to uh, go back up to the top a little bit more of a continuation of the discussion here and more if they wish to read it because it all kind of leads somewhere I, I bring up some unique points as I go down the page they have testimonials that's definitely good for um, having a trusted brand and a call to action and of course I have a back to top thing so they don't have to scroll Makes it convenient for them. So I've provided a good convenient user experience, um, a functional homepage to where they don't really have to leave it to see what they want unless they want to look further into my portfolio, which they should. But this at least gives them an idea. I've provided them a starting point. I've provided them information about what's in it for them for hiring me and an easy way to contact. I mean, people can say whatever they want about somebody's website and critique it. Um... But ultimately, if it does those things and the design is pleasant, then you've got the tools you need. And you can't be afraid to let the website do some of the work for you. Any questions? Let me know.